was nice. It's so rare. I feel like I have to defend. Uh, I have to defend Tom Brady constantly on this show. It's exhausting. And, uh, uh, you know, uh, Nick Wright has on more than one occasion not understood the greatness of Tom Brady, but he defended him on the contract he signed with New England, which is very pro-franchise mm -hmm. and not necessarily pro-Brady. Here was uh, Nick Wright this morning. New England knows their quarterback, who's always taken the discount, who's always done the right thing, probably won't hold their feet to, their, to the fire, so they're going to make him sing for his supper this year. On Brady's behalf, I'm outraged. I hope Brady calls their bluff. I hope Brady does go and see what the marketplace looks like. This is the greatest quarterback in NFL history, and they won't give him the dignity of a one-year actual contract extension. Brady's not pleased with it. He dropped the it is what it is, and then he put his damn house for sale to let you know he's really not pleased with it his house is for sale for 39.5 million he apparently has taken it off the market no, so he's gonna stay I, I went i went and looked at it yesterday yeah it's a very nice house i mean it's it's i if you i like looking at real estate so it's not crazy it's just a really really big nice house with a nice pool and but it's not like absurd i've seen lebron's house inside it's very nice it's not absurd it's tasteful LeBron's house is very tasteful. It's it's nice, but it's not like, you know, marble. LeBron's got a nice house. What you saying? Le LeBron. No. <laughs> I live. So you've got the marble and the gold toilet. I live in a very small fixer upper in Manhattan Beach. Listen to that. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. Speak for yourself. It's coming up next.